It is a choice no one should have to make. We went to the emergency room and we didn't want to have us both be seen because we weren't sure what the costs were going to be. To sacrifice medical care because of high costs and insufficient coverage. So here I am hooked up to an IV, getting fluids, getting anti-nausea medicine, and my poor husband sitting in the chair dying of the same feeling and couldn't be seen. There was a time when the Bridgham family didn't worry about health insurance, but when Jim's active military duty ended, so did their sense of security. When we came out of the military and had to look for individual plans, it was just shocking how much you were gonna pay for how little coverage. Shiloh? He would call the doctor's office and they, they're not accepting any Medicaid patients. Over and over we got that. Hey you guys, how are ya? Relief came when Rebecca placed a call to Doctors Care, a unique nonprofit dedicated to making sure the uninsured and underinsured We're here for the 15 month physical. Get the medical and mental health care they need. That moment that I say, sure, we accept Medicaid patients, you know, can we make you an appointment? That's it. It was such a nice feeling knowing that now we had a place to go that they could be seen um, for preventative things, not just for the fevers and the, the ear infections. Preventative care to me is very important to just generally take care of the person and get on top of any type of problems as soon as possible. Providing preventative care is a priority at the doctor's care clinic Ready? because immunizations and routine checkups mean fewer unnecessary and costly trips to the emergency room. Oh, it's scary when your child gets sick in the middle of the night, but just having the comfort of knowing that we have somewhere to go um, is huge. The Bridgham family is focused on good health, and now there's peace of mind in knowing they have a home for their medical needs at doctor's care. Be good. Hi. This network of physicians, specialists, volunteers, and hospitals is actively working together to serve those who could not otherwise afford health care. The need is great. I see that pool of underinsured and uninsured people growing markedly over the past three to five years, and I see people coming in here significantly sicker than I've ever seen. We've been very humbled coming from, you know, a stable income, stable health care, um, not really having to worry about where your groceries are gonna come from. There is so much satisfaction in appointments like little Shiloh's. Bye, honey. You're doing a great job, both of you. And yet, there are many more to help. There are days where I sit in my car in the parking lot and cry because of the fact that there's just not enough resources and people are coming in so sick. Doctors Care is a place of hope for those who otherwise face few options for quality medical care. For just the welfare of humanity, I think it's very important to support these types of programs in any way you can. Cameron?